Hey guys, it's Jacob from Living Healthy Every Day. I want to tell you something a little personal that I went through. When I was in college, I had uh, a lot of stomach problems and things going on that really pursued me into this passion of helping you with, with uh, health issues. But during the time, I had these gut issues that no one could figure out, and I was missing out all the things that college people did, like going out and socializing, making friends, partying, making connections. Uh, experiencing your, your college career and I was so unhappy at the time and I want to give you three easy ways that I used to help myself become happier and to improve your quality of life uh, in case you are unhappy with anything so the first step is to create a space uh, a, a conscious space for your subconscious so a space where you can clear out all the things that are going on in your head. And so we're creatures that like to think and problem solve. We're constantly trying to problem solve um, and read other people, trying to analyze everything. Just create a space, which I would like to do is, uh, so create a space of, of where you can go and essentially be free and not be thinking. What I'd like to do is walk into nature or go outside and look into the sky or, or walk around with trees and things like that, just places where you can let your mind become empty. Or you could do something like free writing, uh, where you're writing down all your thoughts and whatever it is that's going on in your head, uh, just to get it out there. Um, so you're not having to think about that. And that really helps clear your mind. And once you have a clear mind, then go on to step two, which is to practice gratitude. And that really just is being really grateful for and intensely feeling what you have in your life and being grateful for it. Uh, I wasn't dead. I was happy that I wasn't dead. Uh, I was happy that I was alive and I was able to still smile. I was still happy that I had wonderful family that supported me. I was still happy. I was in college. I was still in college. Most people on this planet don't get to go to college. Uh, I had so many things to be grateful for. And so that's step two. Or you can practice negative gratitude, which is uh, essentially being grateful for things that haven't happened. So looking at the worst case scenario of things and being grateful that that didn't happen. So uh, I am grateful that I didn't die. I'm, I'm grateful that uh, my stomach isn't absolutely horrible where I can't function, that I'm not able to speak, that things, just anything that I didn't get in a car crash, anything that the building I'm in is not on fire. Be grateful for that and really feel the grateful for it. So negative gratuity, or regular gratuity. Uh, and the step three was really taking that gratuity and extending it to people who you never really uh, extend it to. So ex extending it to people who left me as friends and, 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 and helping them achieve what they want and still being nice and thanking them for still being in my life or had been in my life. Really just extending your gratefulness to other people. And so those are three ways you can practice with yourself to help yourself become happier if you're going through a depression or any trouble in your life right now. So thanks guys for watching. Please put in your comments, in the comments below what you've done to help yourself and what are some problems and I'll get back to you on, on what you can do to improve that uh, with gratuity, uh, negative gratuity, uh, creating a subconscious space, things like that. So thanks guys and stay beautiful.